Your father will never let us marry, Fatima. You know I have no money. I have no prospects. Like every father, he wants his daughter to marry well off. I'll run away with you, Mahir. You know they'll find us, and they'll kill us. But without you, my life has no meaning anyway. Shh, don't say things like that. Fatma! Huh? Daddy? What is the meaning of this? Daddy, I wasn't doing anything- Silence! <gasps> How many times do I have to tell you? Stay away from my daughter! But, but, but we love each other, Mr. Shut Daddy. up! Go home, Fatma! Father, please! What are you going to do? Father, for God's sake, I told you to please. go home! <laughs> So you're in love with my daughter, eh? Very much so, sir. <sighs> you will have to earn my daughter's hand. I'll do whatever I have to. Whatever you say? Would you kill someone? Kill somebody? commit murder, my life would be ruined not only in this world, but in the next. How could you ask me to do that, to kill another human being? You are a coward! You don't deserve my daughter! I want you away from Fatma and away from this village, do you understand? And if you ever try to see her and I find out, I will have you killed! Wait... Uh, Mr. Golub... Uh, okay, I'll do it. Ah, good boy. Very good. Listen. Five years ago, my son was murdered. My only son, butchered by some lowlifes. Now it is time to seek revenge for my son's death. Fatma's all I have in this world. Before I allow you to take her away, I want you to get back at those murderers. And even if you're put on trial, I will keep Fatma safe and make sure that she marries no one else. That's my promise to you. I want you to get revenge for me. I know I can trust you. The pay isn't much, but we provide housing for you. Also food. So, if you really want the work, I'd be happy to give it to you. We treat our people well. And the work isn't very complicated. Working with soil takes a little getting used to, of course. But you're sure to get the hang of it after a few days. What do you think? So do we have a deal? It's a deal. Then welcome aboard. I'm ready, Dad. Son, I'd like you to meet Mr. Sali. Nice to meet you, Mr. Sali. My pleasure. Dad, did you remember the money? They're collecting for school uniforms today. Oh, sure, I remembered. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Dad. Don't forget your lunch, Fatih. Uh, say that, get the bed ready out back. Mr. Sali will be working for us. I'll take care of it. Great, I'll be home later. Okay. I thought you were going to prove you weren't a coward. Father! You want him to do something bad. You'll ruin his life! He'll spend the rest of his life in jail! He'll be a murderer! You'll ruin his life and you'll ruin mine as well! I'm begging you, Father! It's up to you, Mahir. You can be a man and take the gun, or you can get out of here and forget Fatma forever. <laughs> uh, honey, could you please take this over to Sally okay, for Mom. me? Do you think
think we'll still be able to get away when winter's over? I'm worried. You don't need to be afraid. But that Galip man still accuses you of murdering his son. I'm your husband, Seda. Do you think that I'm a murderer? Of course not. You could never do that. But those men think you did, and that's what has me frightened. Let's go away together. I have some money saved. We'll be safe. All right. We'll go. We'll wait until springtime. Everything's going to be all right. Don't be afraid, huh? I brought your dinner, Mr. Sully. Thank you very much, my friend. You're welcome. It's so dark in here, aren't you afraid? Not really, are you? Does it scare you? Yeah, a little bit. I've always been kind of scared of the dark. Here, have a seat. I could. Darkness around a person is never as scary as the darkness within him. Whenever you feel afraid of the darkness, just be brave and know that the light within you will always keep you safe. Remember, the scariest monsters are often created by our own thoughts. They are? When we have evil thoughts, sometimes they become monsters in our real lives. So it's important to keep good thoughts. How come? Because when people think bad thoughts, the light within their heart begins to fade. And then their lives become full of darkness and they get lost. So always keep your thoughts happy, be as brave as you can be, and you'll be just fine. I understand, Mr. Sully. I better go now. Have a good night. Good night, I put. Good and evil are so intertwined that it takes only one step to reach either of them. Why are some people attracted to evil and wind up drowning in mistakes? Because the human soul is deceitful. <laughs> it makes mistakes appear to be appealing. This gradually leads the person from light into darkness. How can people get away from this whirlpool of darkness? By consulting their very own conscience. Because every single conscientious man regards all others' mistakes like a defense lawyer and his own like a prosecutor. So tell me how a person can keep himself on track that way. Listen to me, Sally. If a person lives with the belief that he will face all of his mistakes one day, then of course he will live a responsible life. It's never too late to correct a mistake. Good morning. Morning, Sully. Good morning. Hmm. Fatih, we're out of firewood. Could you cut some before you go? Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you cut it, Sully? And uh, bring it back to the house when you're done. Mm -hmm. Of course. Great. Have a good day. You too. Bye. You'll find the wood in the backyard. I'll get to it. Help you with that, Mr. Sully? Hmm, sure, I don't see why not. Have a try. Get a good grip. 
Now we're going to lift it up slowly and lower it together. Just make sure you hold on tight, okay? Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Good job, son. I thought you might like a drink. Can you give me a ride to school, Mr. Sully? We can see my dad on the way. Sure we can. Let's go. And thank you very much for the mm -hmm. water. over there. I can't do it, Fatma. I tried, but I can't get myself to do it. I know you're there! Come out of there! Come on! <laughs> Who are you? Don't shoot me! Who sent you here to do this? Did Galip send you? He's been hurt. He's lying in the middle of the field. He's got blood on him. Something bad happened. Hurry, come quick. Drive us to where he is, Sully. We have to hurry, please. Come on. Heaven, what have I done? What? 
Fatih! Dad! Dad, where are you? Fatih! Fatih! Dad? There he is, over there. Fatih! Fatih! Dad! Daddy! Are you okay? Daddy! I knew something like this would happen. Why did daddy, I do don't this to die. you? Don't die, Daddy, please! Please don't die. Please, Daddy, We've got to get him to the hospital quick. Daddy, Help me! I love you. I love you. <laughs> Hold on, Daddy. Uh. Get revenge on them. Get the revenge. No, honey. Don't get excited. Daddy, don't. Don't leave us, Daddy, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Going to do without How him. will she work in the fields and raise a child at the same May time? God punish whomever is responsible for this. Poor girl. How she cried and cried. <laughs> Look, son. What? Remember what your father said just before he passed away? What was it? He wanted me to get revenge. It's up to you to get revenge on your father's death. Don't cry anymore, son. You have to be strong. You have to make them pay for what they did. Ma'am, I know that you're in mourning, but only God himself can mete out justice. When we humans seek out justice on our own, we do not think of the consequences. And often those consequences can make things much worse. Hello there. Good afternoon. Good afternoon? Uh, I came to see Fati, but I just heard the news. I'd like to talk to his family. Hello, good afternoon. My condolences. Hmm. Your husband and I went to school together. I got a letter from him a couple days ago. I was out of work. He said there were some available. He invited me to stop by and so I did. But then I... then I heard. My husband was killed in cold blood. He was my whole life. He was such a gentle soul. Never a bad word for anyone. He was so kind and good-hearted to everyone. But they took him away. But since you've come all this way, perhaps you can stay for a while. Maybe we can give you some work. You can stay out back in the guest house with Salih. He'll take you. Okay, sure. Thank you. How could a man take it upon himself to kill another? What could make him think he has that right? Whoever it is that did this will have no peace in this life or the next one. I wish there was some way I could think of to help his family. 
I don't know how. Seda wants revenge for this murder. She's told her son as much. If there was some way that we could show him that revenge is not the answer and that it isn't God's way, then we could help them a great deal. friends with my dad? I was. Would you like me to walk you to school? That would be cool. Then let's go. Come on. You okay? I don't want to go to school. You don't? I don't need to go to school anymore. But school is important. You have to go so you can be smart and make your mom proud of you. But my mom will only be proud of me if I get revenge for my dad. You'll mean that she'll only be proud of you if you're a murderer? But he killed my dad. Listen to me, son. Killing another man is never the answer. Once you commit an act like that, you're never the same. You may think you've done the right thing, but you've only sinned against yourself. You can't imagine how awful it feels. You'll wish you were dead, not him. You look for a place to hide, but you can't hide. You try to ask God for help, and it sticks in your throat. You get on your knees and you try to say a prayer, but then you realize God isn't listening anymore. But how do you know all of this, Mayor? Never mind about me. Uh, here, take this money. Use it for whatever you want. But I want you to go to school. I forgot something back at the house. I've got to go back and get it, okay? I'll see you after school. Hey, who was that guy anyway? He's an old friend of my dad's. What'd he give you that money for? He's just being nice, I guess. You should really rest now, ma'am. How can I rest, Ali? How will we survive? What will we eat? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, that looks heavy. Let me carry this for you. You must be tired. It's all right. You've had a long journey. You rest. I insist. You're all in mourning. Allow me. Mr. Sully's here. We could do it together. All right. Thank you for being so kind. You've been very kind during this difficult time. It's the least I could do. If only my husband were still alive and could see how kind you've both been to me, he'd be very grateful. I still can't stop thinking about that awful man out there. You've gone pale, my hair. Are you all right? Uh, I'm all right. Just a little tired. That's where we found Fatih, where you were just looking. Did you see something that we should know about? Mm, no. I was just looking around. Anyway, we should get back to work. Well, I'll leave it to you then. All right, ma'am. They'll have enough groceries for at least a month. That was a lot of money. It was worth it. Just one less thing for Seda to worry about. Always good to help when you can. It's really nice of you, Mayor. You're really helping my mom a lot. I can see why my dad liked you so much. Hey, Mahir. How are you today? It's been a while since we talked last. I'll be there in a little while. Who's that man over there? Is everything okay? Sure, he's just a friend. Here, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. What are you doing here? Galip sent me. He's been waiting for you to report back to him. I've been hiding. What are you talking about? Hiding where? Fatma's been worried sick. 
tell Fatma not to worry. I'll be back soon. And tell Mr. Golop the job's done. Nothing's wrong. I did what he wanted. And now he has to wait. That's all I have to say. Get out of here. Can you get me a loaf of bread, my son? Some milk and some cheese as well? I'm very hungry. In the name of God, won't you help an old man? I haven't eaten for days. Get out of my way, old man. I don't have time to listen to you. Why don't you help yourself? But I'm a human being just like you, son. What do you say, kid? You look like a good kid after all. Yeah, well, I'm not good. There are a lot of other people around here. Bother them. Leave me alone. Oh, you're just in time. Your dinner's ready. Thanks. I'm not hungry. Hmm. <sighs> you know, if you need to talk about something, I'd be happy to listen. Everything's fine. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Sleep well. Thank you. Have a good night. Go on. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today, ma'am? I'm fine, son. How are you? I'm fine. I'm going to walk to school today with our coot. Aren't you sweet? That's nice of you to walk with him. Where's that guy, coot? Your dad's friend. I saw a really great ball at the store. Maybe he'll buy it. Oh, hey, this is my friend, Haroon. <gasps> I've seen you before. I saw you that day Fatih got shot. You were running really fast. Why are you running, my hair? Well, I was... I mean... I was... Salih! Don't let him go! Catch him! <laughs> I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't want to. He pointed his gun at me. I swear it was an accident. You have to believe me. I, I didn't mean to do it. Kill her! You took my husband's life, and now I'm going to take yours. Mama! Try to stay calm. Drop the gun, Seda. Leave the punishment to the courts. Better yet, let God punish him. No, Sally. He took my husband away from me. Put the gun down. I will not let you shoot him. You lied to us. You weren't Dad's friend. <laughs> this gun is all the proof that's needed to convict him. Now I'm going to take this man and his gun to the police station where they belong. Let's go. Good luck getting out of here. You must be the new guy. Welcome to the ward. From Brother Bunyamin. Thanks. Enjoy. Welcome, brother. I'll show you where you sleep. Follow me. Come on. Here you go. Uh, what's up? Don't you have any bags or anything like that? Nope. Ah, okay, then. Uh, good luck to you. Ah, you better drink that. Bunyamin will get really angry. May God help you. Yeah, thanks. I could do with a little of God's help myself. The prosecutor is trying to prove extenuating circumstances. Uh, I've, I've seen.
seen you before. What are you doing in here? I'm here because of you. What do you mean? Remember, I asked for your help that day and you refused? Yeah, what about it? I asked you to buy some food for me. You said no, and so I proceeded to steal some instead. I was soon arrested, and so again I say I'm here because of you. You shouldn't have gone and stolen then. I mean, you can't blame it on me. You were the one who chose to steal, weren't you? Using your logic, perhaps you shouldn't have committed murder. Didn't you have any other choice? Hey, Brother Bunyamin wants to see you. What? Brother Bunyamin, he wants to talk to you. Why does he want to see me? Perhaps you should ask him yourself. You the guy? Mm-hmm. I guess you didn't like our tea, huh? No, it was fine. Then why'd you throw it on the floor? I didn't. Uh, it was an accident. Then you should have cleaned up that broken glass, that right? Well, I... I was going to. Really, I planned to clean it up, but... <clears throat> so you're lying to me? Huh. <clears throat> What's the matter? Did that hurt you? Didn't like uh, it, did you? Now you listen here. You're gonna go over there and pick up every piece of glass that's on that floor. And then you're gonna clean up the entire ward. You got me? You understand that? I understand, brother. Brother Bunyamin! Brother Bunyamin. Brother Bunyamin! Brother Bunyamin. Where are you from? Well, uh, are you looking for someone? Are you Fatih's wife? I am. I'm Gallup's daughter and Mahir's fiance. How dare you come here? Get Sadat, out of here! Please don't. Well, what is it you want? It's obvious she wants to tell you something. The least you can do is listen to what she has to say. All right, say what you have to say. My father forced Mahir to kill your husband. Mahir is a gentleman. I've known him since we were children. It might be difficult for you to understand, but please forgive him. Otherwise, this blood feud will go on forever and ever. I know you have a son. Don't raise him with revenge in his blood. Why not? So someone else from your family can come and murder him one day? Your husband murdered my brother. You know it's true. You're a liar. I'm not a liar. I saw it happen. I saw my brother die in front of me. My... My husband wouldn't do that. He was a good man. Hatred can make men do terrible things. He killed him in cold blood. I stood and watched him do it. But there's nothing I can do. I can't bring him back. You're a mother. And one day soon I will have my own children. It's up to us to put an end to this. You're trying to threaten me, aren't you? I don't understand. Why would I do that? I see. They sent you here, didn't they? They sent you to warn me to watch my step, didn't they? Nothing but evil runs through your family. Seda, stop. This isn't doing any good. Perhaps she really did come here to make things better between your families. Make things better? How's that? By taking my son away from me? Get out of here. Get out! And don't come back here! <laughs> did kill that woman's brother as she said he did. This will never end, Sally. Sooner or later, they will take my son away from me. When am I going to do, Sally? How will I protect my son? I'm so scared. Why 
do they take Fatu away from me? <laughs> God never abandons those who put their faith in him. How's it going? As well as it can, I guess. It could have gone well for me, but when I asked for help, I was refused. Come on, man. Do you have to keep reminding me of that? I will keep reminding you until you understand what I mean. I understand what you mean. Ah, but you don't. Listen, man. I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play, but I'm not a common criminal, okay? I might be stuck in here, but I'm not like these other guys. I did this to marry the woman that I love. You committed a murder. I did it in self-defense. That may be, but I think perhaps you defended yourself a bit more than was necessary, my friend. You say that you committed this crime because you were in love with a woman. You feel you may have done this out of love, but it's your desires that got the best of you. In this case, you could not truly love someone, for your desires have blinded you and made you a slave to them. You must break free of your desires, my friend. Stop confusing me, old man. I love her. I want to marry her. Everything I did, I did because of her. I didn't want to do this, but I had to do it. Hey, when are you going to clean up over there? I cleaned it all this morning. Well, you better clean it again. That's what Brother Bunyamin wants. He'll clean it. Ah, Brother Bunyamin wants you to shine his shoes, too. He's gone too far. I'm not his little slave boy. No way I'm gonna shine his shoes. Looking for somebody? That's right. I'm looking for you. What a coincidence. Here we are both looking for each other at the same time. So why were you looking for me? To tell you the truth, I don't need anything from you. What I mean is, You've been doing a great job here. Nice. I don't get it. I want to commend you for good work. Nobody's ever shined my shoes as good as this. Yeah, you done good. You should be proud of yourself. But I... Tell you what, that old man over there says you're a pretty good kid. At first I didn't believe him, but I gotta admit he was right. I'm releasing you from cleaning detail. Salem! Hey, Salem! You get over here. So, I'm putting you in charge of coffee. Be careful. Don't go burning those fingers of yours. Bunyamin? Listen, from now on, this guy is in charge of the coffee. And you're going to cleaning detail. How come? And I don't need any back talk from you. Okay. From now on, that's your corner. You start right away. I like my coffee black, no sugar. <sighs> well, what do you think? Does it smell like it's ready? I don't think I've ever made tea in my life. You should give it another five minutes. Hello, Mahir. Hey, listen, I'm sorry this happened. I thought he'd keep me on cleaning detail for sure, I guess. He just did it to mess with you. Don't worry about it. I was on cafe detail for six years. This is the best place to work in here, and I loved it. I'm sure you did. This corner's almost like my home. It's my life. It's all I have in the world. Sure, I understand. Look, I'm gonna pass this on to you, see? 
How come? This will tell you how long you should brew the tea for. You should pour it out after it's steeped for eight minutes, maybe eight and a half. Coffee only takes one minute. Keeps really good time. It was my grandfather's watch. I couldn't take your grandfather's watch. Take it. It'll make the cafe detail easier. You gotta know how long you're brewing stuff for. Take it. You wanna make good tea, don't you? Thanks a lot. I'll take good care of it. Sure you will. Brother Bunyamin really liked your coffee. He wants another cup. I'll get it for him right away. He wants you to clean the toilet. Says everything's filthy. What are you waiting for? Okay, I'm going. Hey, man, come on, get up. You hear me? Wake up. Come on. Wake up. Get up. What's going on? Get up. Get well, up, man. Question. Let's go. Get up. Come on. Get up, move on. on. Will you? What's going Shut on? Shut up. Here? I thought you were a good kid, but maybe I'm wrong. What is it? What did I do wrong? What you did, kid, is practically unforgivable. And you're going to pay for it. I tell you. I didn't do anything. Yeah, he did. He stole my watch. Go on, search him. What are you talking about? I didn't steal anything. He's making this up. Shut up. You killed an innocent man, you murderer. And you're a thief, too. Come Hang on. on. Wait a minute. Knock Listen it off. to me, will you? Hmm. Get your hands off me. I told you I didn't do it. Uh, uh, hang on. <sighs> Looky here. What's this? I just don't like liars. I'm telling you the truth. I didn't steal anything, man. He gave me that watch. You think I believe that? This is his granddaddy's watch. It's the only thing in the world that belongs to him. But there's a witness. The old man saw Salim give me the watch this morning. He saw the whole thing. I swear it. Listen, you little punk. You better pray hard that they transfer you out of here. Because I can promise you one thing. If you stay here much longer, you're going to wind up dead. Puh! Why didn't you say anything? What good would it do? They wouldn't have believed me. He knows I didn't steal that watch. So why did he go and make up that story? Why did he do that to me? He loved Café Detail very much, my friend. So what? He loves it so much that he would stoop as low as that? What kind of love is that? That is an interesting question. What darkness will a man enter for the sake of love? What kind of love is that? I mean... I did the very same thing, didn't I? So what's going to happen now? Don't worry. God is merciful for those who realize the error of their ways. He offers many chances to those who feel remorse within their hearts and wish to change. You see, he wants you to change and be happy. It all seems so clear to me today. And yet, I'm sure they'll probably kill me for this. Oh, come now. Nobody should kill a man whom God creates. Besides, the best time to pray is when you're having problems, my son. Thank you for your kindness, my friend. Here you go. Thanks.
Do you have any good news, my friend? Better have some good news, or he's gonna be in big trouble. Well, they transferred me to a different cell block. And your sentence? They proved it was self-defense. I won't be here too much longer. That is good news, my friend. Very good. I'll get out for sure. But I'll still be in prison, you know? I mean, how do I face myself? What do I do? God opens wide the doors of heaven for sinners who repent in their hearts. Perhaps, my friend, you should perform an act of goodness that is equal or greater in measure to the evil that you did. An act that brings good and frees your soul. Here's my son-in-law. Today's the big day. Where's Fatma? She's waiting for you at home. She's cooked a delicious meal for you. Such a meal you wouldn't believe how beautiful. In a few months, we'll have a wedding ceremony. My son, our problems are over. Ah, you're pretty lucky, you know. I never would have thought they would let you out of here so soon. It's pretty obvious God's watching out for you. Yes. Well, well, let me take that bag for you. Come on, get in. Let's get out of here, come on. Go on, get in. Thank you. Are you okay? Just fine. Never mind the chit chat. The guy's starving. Come on, get dinner. Nice to have some good home cooking, isn't it? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Galib. Please call me father, will you? Listen, before the wedding, I have one more thing for you to do. What's that? I hear. Come on. I thought you were a pretty bright kid. That Fatih character, he's got a son, no? Nice little kid, I hear. Of course, whether he's nice or not, that kid's still dangerous to us. I don't understand, Khaled. What are you talking about? Somewhere nearby there's a nice little boy who's learning all about revenge. Mark my words. By the time he turns 15, he's gonna be out for blood. Our blood. There's only one way to ensure that this never happens. It won't be very hard to do. Actually, it'll be a piece of cake. I can't do it. I won't. I made that mistake once. I don't plan on making it again. What are you talking about? What kind of mistake? This is a blood feud. You expect me to do nothing? You expect me to sit here and wait for him to show up? Blow a hole through my head? Or Futmaz? Think about it. You'll be a father someday. You want him to murder your child in cold blood? That wouldn't be very nice, would it? You can't ask me to do that. I won't do it. I won't kill anyone else for you. What's the matter? Are you afraid? Something tells me being in jail took your guts away. That has nothing to do with it. I suffer enough. Every morning when I wake up, I see the face of the man I murdered. I'll be haunted by that face for as long as I live. What gives you the right to kill what God created? 
You went soft in the head in that place, didn't you? It's like you don't even have a sense of honor anymore. Okay, you need some more time. Couldn't have been easy for you. Maybe you just need to relax for a while. Take this money. Go away for a week or so. Take a vacation. Maybe get your head on straight. Then when you get back, we'll start planning the wedding. How does that sound? No way. Never. I want that kid dead! I won't wait for him to get me first! You kill that boy, or you stay away from my daughter! You think I'll let myself be humiliated by the likes of you?! I have a reputation in town, one I intend to keep, you got me?! If that reputation suffers, you're going to pay dearly for it! Mom, I think I want to be a doctor. You'd make a wonderful doctor. But you mustn't forget his last words to us. I can still hear him screaming. Get revenge on them. Who can that be so late? What is it, Ashe? Is everything okay? Yes, everything's just fine. I just thought there was something you should know. Uh-huh. To be honest, I wasn't sure whether I should worry you or not. But I thought I should come by and warn you, and that's why I'm here. So what is it you think I should know, Ashe? That man's been released. What man are you talking about? The man who shot your husband, of course. You know. I didn't want to scare you or anything. I just thought it was something you should be aware of. I understand, thank you. We have to move away from here. We have to move away as far as possible. God forbid he tries to hurt my... I can't even begin to think about it. Don't be so afraid, my dear. He was in prison after all. Maybe he's learned his lesson. I've heard they find God in there. And if not, what else could he do anyway? What if they send him after my baby? That man knows where we lived. He worked here as a day laborer. That man wants to kill my son. He wants to take him away. Oh, please, try not to worry yourself. Thank you for telling me. Mom, what's the matter? Nothing, son. I'm fine. Why are you crying? I just heard a woman is sick. She was a very old friend of mine. Fatma. Are you going to do what my father asks? I don't know, Fatma. I don't know. I'm very confused. Don't do it, Mahir. You're free. Don't throw it away. Being together isn't worth taking somebody's life. How could we ever be happy knowing we have so much blood on our hands? It's better that we go our separate ways and end this now. I'll always love you. I'll always love you too, Fatma. I'll always love you too. We'll see you later, son. You remembered all your books, right? I must have. My bag is so heavy. Honey, you be a good boy, okay? Good morning. I didn't mean to frighten you. I was daydreaming. You just startled me, that's all. Do you need anything before I start working the fields? No, that's fine. You've been such a big help for us. 
Oh, there's a leak in the kitchen window. The rain got in the other night. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could take care of that first thing? Not a problem at all. I'll take care of it before I go working in the fields. I'll see you later this afternoon. Thanks, Sally. these went to seed. You must be doing something right, Sally. Don't be afraid. How dare you come here? Haven't you done enough already? Don't be upset. I didn't mean to frighten you. I only came here for your forgiveness. I'm so sorry for what I did. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh, no. You killed my husband, and now you want to kill my boy next? N no Get out! Get out of here! Please, please listen to me. Sally should never have stopped me from killing you that day. I should have done it. I should have killed you! Stop! Why did you stop me? Why? Please don't worry. Nothing's going to happen. I think we need to move somewhere far away. Somewhere he'll never find us. But how? I don't have the money. It isn't safe for us to stay here. All right, calm down. I'll see what I can do. I promise we'll take care of it. But you have to calm down. And please don't do anything you'll regret. What will we do? Where will I get the money? You can sell the land. Nobody wants this land. But he tried to sell it before and nobody had any interest. Perhaps if you asked your neighbors, they'd be willing to help us out. But how long will we have to hide? No, it would be better if you were dead. Murder is not the answer. It can only make things worse. Wouldn't you like your son to go to college? Don't you want him to get a degree and become a doctor? Or maybe even an engineer? Do you want to give your son the life you've always wanted for him, Seda? Or do you want to take it away from him? You should think about that. Just think about it. Stop! Come on, wait! It's all right! It's all right! Get away from me! What do you want? You don't need to be frightened. I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I'm not gonna hurt you. I just came to talk to you and to ask you to forgive me, that's all. That's a lie! You murdered my dad, and now you want to kill me too! Look, I swear to God, I don't want to hurt you. You'll shoot me like you shot my father! Murderer! Take this money. It's yours. Please take it. I just want to make it up to you and your mother for the horrible thing I did to you. Please forgive me. Money can't make up for anything. Stay away from us. Stay away from me and my mom, or you'll be sorry. something happened? What is it? Did you get into a fight again, honey? Tell me what happened, for God's sake. Honey, what is it? My ear. He was at school today. I was so scared, Mom. Don't be frightened. I won't let him hurt you, I promise. We'll move away. I ran away. But he grabbed me. I fell down. He wouldn't let me go. He wanted to give me money. But I threw it in his face. I was so scared, Mom. Oh, honey. I'm here with you. And I'll never let him lay a hand on you again. So help me God. <laughs> Try to be brave. I will never let anybody hurt you. Besides, big boys don't cry, do they? Soon you'll be the head of the house. 
so you must learn to be brave and strong. Go wash your face and hands, okay? Go on, I'll get dinner on the table. What's the matter? You've been standing out here for an hour now. Nothing. I'm just thinking. You came back quick. Pretty short vacation. I thought you'd be gone for at least a week. I've had enough. Well, in that case, we ought to get down to business, don't you think? You need to go there tomorrow. You find that boy and you kill him! What is it? I'm not doing this. And you shouldn't either. Stop this. While you still have time. What do you mean, while I still have time? As long as that boy lives, this feud can never be over! This is life and death we're talking about. Do you understand? If it's not me, it will be you or your child. They will kill one of us! And if you're too cowardly, my here. I'll find someone who isn't. But more important than this feud is my family's honor, and I will not let that be compromised! First I will kill you, Mahir, and then I will go kill that boy! Ah. God protects those who have faith in him and pledge to live according to his word. There is never a better time to pray than when we are in darkness and seeking a way into the light. But more important than this feud is my family's honor, and I will not let that be compromised! First I will kill you, Mahir, and then I will go kill that boy! Ah. How are you, gentlemen? Good, thanks. Good afternoon. May I help you? I'm Sali, and I work for Fatih. Ah, yes, the unlucky man who was murdered. Yes. We're looking to sell some of his land. There's nothing wrong with it, of course. It's just that his widow needs the money. This land, how many square meters is it? Mm, around 10,000. It seems such a shame. The land is very fertile. One would think that would be plenty to feed her and her son for some time, no? They're leaving the village. Ah, you mean they're running away. I see. Are you interested or not? If not, I'll move on. Well, I just might be. We should talk. Just putting the word out. Have a good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. Goodbye. So! Hello? Yeah, this is him. The woman is running away. She's selling the land. One of her workers came to the cafe today. So be quick, Mahir, or you're sure to find yourself in danger. I understand. 
Okay, thanks. I'll tell Mr. Gollum. Where are you going? Just stop and take a deep breath. You didn't even see me. I'll get Aikut, okay? We've already started to pack. Sally is going to sell the field. Until it is sold, we have to survive on our savings. Is the place you're going to safer, my dear? At least they won't be able to find us for a while. Meanwhile, my son will get bigger and able to defend himself. I have to go. Oh, okay, my dear. Hello, Mr. Gallup. Why didn't you come over? What are you talking about? Why should I have come? I told him that the woman was running away. I told him they're escaping. Didn't he tell you? I could. I coat! Oh my god! My coat! A coat! Where are you, son? A coat! Ma'am, please wait a minute. Just listen to me for God's sake. I'm not going to hurt you. Let go of my arm! Of course you're here to hurt us. Where is my son? What did you do with him? I didn't do anything to your son. I'm not out to get him. I won't do any harm to either you or your son. Please understand. I came here just to apologize for my mistake and to beg for your forgiveness. Please believe me. Please don't be afraid. I just don't believe you. You were a murderer. You killed my husband. And now you want to kill my son too? If you don't believe me, just shoot me. Kill me. Take revenge for your husband. But this won't do you any good. You will be a criminal like me then. Your son will be left alone. Put that gun down. I could don't. I'm going to shoot you. You will pay for what you did. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what I did. Please, please forgive me. Every morning I wake up feeling terrible. Please believe me. You're telling a lie. You killed my father, and now you want to kill my mother. I won't let you do that. Son, stop. Don't do it. Please don't pull that trigger. Mom, isn't this what you wanted? What Dad said when he was dying? He told you to get revenge for him, didn't he? Yes, I did. I said that, but I was wrong. Don't kill him. Don't be a killer. I could. I'm not thinking about myself when I say this. It's only about you. You're just a kid. Your mother's right. Come on, put the gun down. I could no! Don't do that! Don't pull that trigger! I told you, Mahir. If you don't kill him, he will kill you. But this business is going to end here. I finally found you. I go! My hair! Mr. My hair, I believe you. You saved my son's life. I forgive you. Put your hands 
Stop. Get out. Out. Help him, Sully. We couldn't save Fatih. At least we should save him. Officer, officer, help us. You're gonna live. I know you are. Is he going to be all right? Yes, he is. Can you now see how mercy overcame revenge? Now they want him to survive after all. Those who realize the importance of life can forego their right to revenge. I think they turn over a new leaf for their lives by doing that. Do you know what is the best thing about turning over a new leaf? What is that? Those who can turn their pages from pitch black to snow white will fear a return to darkness as they fear hellfire. Besides, remorse can only turn into goodness in this way. <laughs>